The following creepy videos on this terrifying top 10 list will scare you senseless. Except for maybe your paranormal sixth sense, which is about to get a workout as we analyze some really scary stuff, ranging from unidentified creature sightings to supposedly real ghost videos. Number 10. Park rangers cannot properly identify this strange sighting at the Lettuce Lake Park in Florida. Those who believe in this creepy video say the creature is too big to be a human and that most people wouldn't ruin an expensive costume walking through water. More importantly, this is a gator and snake infested swamp deep in Florida's Lettuce Lake Park, a place where even bears stay clear of. Nobody is exactly going to go jumping into these waters, only if they were out of their mind. Even the person who caught this mysterious creature was in a canoe. Number 9. In just a few scary moments, this gym class is about to become a lesson on how to stay alive. From behind the stage auditorium comes a rumble followed by a billowing wind unlike anything these scared students have ever experienced. It's called a microburst and it's like a tornado but even scarier. It's where strong winds blast out in a straight line as opposed to the swirling winds we're familiar with. The entire terrifying event takes place in less than 10 seconds, enough to blow out a wall and send dozens of people running. Everyone is okay, but they need to abandon the building fast before it collapses. There's no sound in this scary video, but you don't need it to know that they must have been screaming out of their minds the entire time. Number 8. A paranormal investigator named Jared Tracy has caught some scary things on Connect Camera while exploring the Laurel Historical Society building in Washington, D.C. Suspended over old furniture that has not been moved in a very long time is a ghostly figure dangling in mid-air. What they've caught on Connect Camera becomes absolutely terrifying when you learn the creepy backstory of this video that it's the same spot where a man once took his life. Can you move from that area? Can you talk to us? I'm going to put the Oculus right here with you. Can you use that and talk through it? What's your name? The ghost uses the paranormal equipment only to confirm that it will not speak to them and then it refuses to answer any more of the investigator's questions. Can you reach out and touch my hand? I can't see you. The spirit will not reach out to them and so they conclude the investigation now satisfied that they have the paranormal proof needed to deem the Laurel Historical Society building haunted by at least one spirit causing plenty of strange activity. Number 7. Okay, so I found a new ghost hunting channel called Mystic Corporation that goes exploring abandoned houses in Russia, and they've already got some pretty creepy things caught on camera. One place is so hauntingly scary that exploring the house leaves paranormal investigator Tim Danishevsky fearful and breathless. Weird stuff starts happening as soon as he sets up his ghost hunting equipment in the old cellar. Objects are falling over, specifically a Ouija board moving on its own like a ghost did it. 
when he leaves the room to go exploring the rest of the building, the door close to the haunted Ouija board begins opening and closing by itself. He comes back and tries to make sense of the creepy things he's caught on camera, but he's left scared senseless and shaking with fear. Number 6 The next time you're about to eat a banana that looks a little too ripe, you might want to just throw the whole thing away. Otherwise, you might be in for a scary surprise, like this creepy situation. A mother in Virginia was feeding her children a banana when her son insisted that he peeled the banana on his own. When he started screaming at the top of his lungs and shouting something about scary things, she thought he was overreacting until she took a look at the table. That's when she saw a piece of banana that was crawling across the surface, a large spider with clearly visible legs. The end of the banana looks like it was blown out by its great escape. Fortunately for them, the arachnid seems to have been stuck in the fruit and moves too slowly to get very far. This is what allowed the brave mother time to properly dispose of the bug before it found some place to hide. Had it gotten away, it could have been a big deal because introducing tropical insects into a new environment can damage the ecosystem and besides that, the South American spider might even be venomous. Number 5 A YouTuber named Nature World Ambience goes exploring a spooky forest in Germany when, after 40 minutes of silence, he hears a rushing wind. If you haven't thought about why this is really eerie, notice that all of the vegetation is as still as it can be. The wind is howling and not so much as a single leaf is moving. Then it mysteriously disappears. Later on, he wakes up to strange noises in his house and follows them upstairs. There's an old alarm clock radio in the creepy attic that he keeps plugged in but never otherwise uses. It's never made any noises before, but this time, it's making some scary sounds, and what's even more curious, strange voices. <laughs> While this could be interference from a radio station, he goes on to explain that he lives in an isolated village and that this alarm clock was away from any electronic devices that would transmit a signal. Although it's not impossible, it's unlikely because it's never happened before in all of his years living here. Also, the clock was not switched over to the radio mode when this happened. So not only did it pick up these strange sounds, but it also switched over to receive them all on its own. Number 4 Shawnee Boy 06 is setting up his Xbox Kinect when he gets the feeling that he's not alone. Then paranormal proof that a ghost is haunting his room with him shows up on his Kinect setup screen. And it's picking up something else in my room. What the f The camera detects a second presence represented by this floating icon. A figure standing by the entrance of the room, even though nothing is there except for a blank white wall. It's at perfect height as a human. Oh, it's gone now. According to Sean, the spot he's sitting in goes cold as soon as his Xbox registers this mysterious figure who continues to linger around until he gets up to investigate the spot, at which point it finally disappears. Maybe the Kinect is glitching out, or maybe, if this weird video is to be believed, 
he accidentally figured out how to use it to hunt ghosts. Number 3. A ghost hunting YouTube channel called Paranormalists goes exploring haunted barracks to take a 24-hour challenge 99% of us would not be brave enough to do on our own. The creepy paranormal evidence he caught on camera is nothing short of terrifying. It begins with the spike of paranormal energy on his ghost meter. It's here with it. You guys hear that? And the paranormal evidence continues in the form of ghost orbs caught on camera dancing around his head. We got its attention. Good. That's the hard part. He keeps exploring the long empty halls and various rooms for signs of the paranormal, following his beeping equipment from room to room. It seems to be leading him back to the same room where he had an encounter before with the ghost with glowing eyes. It's back there. Let's try the laundry room. That's, guys, that's where we found the eyes glowing in the dark. Let's try there. As he creeps up to the small dark room, he feels a dreadful feeling build within him, and it takes all of his training to overcome his fear. Whatever is in there is watching him, and he doesn't go exploring very far into this hall before he has a ghost sighting he'll never forget. The f is that? Hello? F that. Staring at him from within the darkness is a pair of lopsided eyes the glowing glare of someone looking at him, with their head curiously cocked to the side. The scared ghost hunter does not investigate any further into the room, and quickly gets out of there before whatever's looking at him has a chance to pursue. There's no animals allowed in this building and he's all by himself, which means that, in his opinion, something paranormal was looking back at him. Number 2 this mysterious video, found on a lost USB drive, has perplexed the YouTube community ever since 2016. The strange footage is little more than a montage of slow and shaky scenery of abandoned buildings, fields, and even the sewer. The way the camera always focuses on the ground has led some people to speculate that this video could have a scary hidden meaning. According to rumors, this is a confession video showing places where someone creepy has been putting people underground. When placed in this context, the very last scene is extra creepy. Whoever made this video drives by a carnival and includes a string of encoded letters. The way this is all put together, makes it look like they're showing all of the places where people have been discarded, and then the final place where they chose their next person to go missing, the carnival. If you think you can finally solve this mystery, then you would be a legend. However, the answer to whatever this video is might lead you to something really creepy that you never wanted to find out. Number 1. A YouTuber named Something Unreal is experimenting in what's known as a neural network, which is a fancy term for an AI program that, like humans, learns through trial and error. Something Unreal ultimately wants to teach this computer AI how to speak English. To do this, he feeds the program sound clips of his own voice and then lets it rearrange the data into sentences of its own. At first, the neural network sounds like nothing but total gibberish. After a while, however, it seems to have grasped the concept of numbers and appears to be spitting out some sort of code. Let me know if you can decipher what's being said here. 
By the end of the 24-hour cycle, it seems to have put together a single scary phrase. As another person has pointed out in the comments section of the video, it sounds like the computer AI is saying, this is the only thing I can say. This is the only thing I can think. This is the only thing I can think to say. And if that's what it can do in 24 hours, think about what it will be saying in a week, a month, and if they let it run long enough, a lifetime. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more of everything Bill knows.